Emily stood by the window, watching the rain patter against the glass. The luxury car in the driveway was a stark contrast to the grey, dreary weather. It was a sleek, black sedan, a gift from her father, who had always wanted the best for her. She remembered the joy on his face when he handed her the keys, his words still echoing in her mind. You deserve the best, my dear. Her reverie was shattered by the sound of the front door slamming. Her husband, Alex, stormed into the living room, his face flushed with anger. Emily braced herself, knowing what was coming. We need to talk, Alex said, his voice trembling with barely suppressed rage. About what? Emily replied, though she already knew the answer. That car, he spat, pointing towards the driveway. My parents need a new vehicle, and I'm taking it to them. Emily's heart sank. Alex, that car was a gift from my dad. It's not yours to give away. Your dad? Alex sneered, always trying to show off, always undermining me. Well, it's time my parents had something nice for a change. This isn't about your parents, is it? Emily shot back. This is about your pride. You can't stand that my father gave me something you can't. Alex's eyes flashed with fury. You don't get it, do you? Either you hand over the keys or we're done. I leave and I'll take everything I can with me. Tears welled up in Emily's eyes. Why are you doing this, Alex? Why are you trying to hurt me? Because you need to learn your place, he snarled. You think you can just flaunt your wealth and make me look like a fool? Not anymore. Emily took a deep breath, trying to steady herself. Alex, we can find another solution. Maybe we can help your parents in a different way. No, he said firmly. It's the car or nothing. Emily felt a wave of sadness wash over her. This wasn't the man she had married. The Alex she fell in love with was kind, supportive and understanding. But now, it seemed like his pride and insecurities had taken over, poisoning their relationship. She knew she had to make a choice. She could give in to his demands, sacrificing the car and a part of herself in the process, or she could stand her ground and risk losing him. With a heavy heart, she made her decision. Alex, if you take that car, you're taking away my father's love and his gift to me. If you can't see that, then maybe we need to reevaluate our relationship. Alex stared at her, stunned. You're choosing a car over our marriage? No, Emily said softly. I'm choosing self respect and my father's love. If you can't understand that, then maybe you were never the right person for me. For a moment, silence hung in the air, thick with tension. Then, without another word, Alex turned and walked out the door, leaving Emily standing alone. The rain continued to fall, but as Emily watched Alex drive away in his own car, she felt a strange sense of relief. She had stood up for herself for her father's gift and for her own dignity. It was a painful choice, but one that marked the beginning of a new chapter in her life. Asterisk, asterisk, a journey to independence, asterisk, asterisk. The days that followed were difficult for Emily. She had to navigate through the emotional turmoil and the practical challenges that came with Alex's departure. Her friends and family rallied around her, offering support and encouragement. Her best friend, Sarah, was particularly supportive. You did the right thing, Emily, she said one evening as they sat in Emily's living room, drinking tea. You can't let anyone take away your sense of self-worth. I know, Emily replied, though a part of her still felt the sting of Alex's betrayal. It's just hard. I loved him and I thought we had a future together. Sarah nodded. I understand. But sometimes the people we love change or maybe we see them more clearly over time. What's important is that you stayed 
true to yourself. Emily took strength from Sarah's words. She threw herself into her work, finding solace in her career. She worked as a graphic designer and her creativity became an outlet for her emotions. She spent long hours designing, creating and pushing herself to new heights. As weeks turned into months, Emily found herself growing stronger. She started attending a local gym, taking up yoga and meditation. The physical activity and mindfulness practices helped her regain a sense of balance and inner peace. One evening, after a particularly intense yoga session, Emily received a phone call from her father. His voice was warm and reassuring. How are you holding up, sweetheart? he asked. I'm doing okay, dad, she replied. It's been tough, but I'm getting through it. I'm proud of you, Emily, her father said. You showed a lot of strength and integrity. Your mother and I are always here for you. Thank you, Dad, Emily said, feeling a lump in her throat. Your support means everything to me. Asterisk, asterisk, unexpected opportunities, asterisk, asterisk. As Emily continued to rebuild her life, she was presented with an unexpected opportunity. Her boss, David, called her into his office one morning. Emily, he began, we've been really impressed with your work lately. Your designs are outstanding and your dedication is commendable. We're expanding our team and we'd like to offer you a promotion to lead designer. Emily was taken aback. Really? That's amazing. Thank you, David. You've earned it, he replied with a smile. We have a big project coming up and I think you'd be perfect to lead it. The promotion was a turning point for Emily. It validated her hard work and dedication and it gave her a renewed sense of purpose. She threw herself into the new role, collaborating with her team and pushing the boundaries of her creativity. The project was a massive success and Emily's reputation as a talented designer grew. She started receiving offers from other companies, but she was happy where she was. Her work environment was supportive and nurturing, and she felt valued and appreciated. Asterisk, asterisk, a new beginning. Asterisk, asterisk, one sunny afternoon as Emily was walking back to her car after a successful client meeting, she noticed a familiar figure standing by the black sedan. It was Alex. Her heart skipped a beat and she approached him cautiously. Alex, she said, her voice trembling slightly. Emily, he replied, his tone soft and regretful. I, I needed to see you. Can we talk? She hesitated then nodded. Okay, let's talk. They sat on a bench nearby, the sun casting long shadows on the ground. Alex looked at her, his eyes filled with remorse. I've had a lot of time to think, Emily. I realize now how wrong I was. I let my pride and insecurities get in the way and I hurt you. I'm so sorry. Emily listened, her emotions a mix of anger, sadness and a tiny glimmer of hope. Alex, you hurt me deeply. You tried to take away something that was very special to me. I know, he said, his voice breaking. I was a fool. I let my jealousy and pride cloud my judgment. I don't expect you to forgive me. But I needed to tell you how sorry I am. Emily took a deep breath. I appreciate your apology, Alex. But I need to think about what's best for me now. Alex nodded, tears in his eyes. I understand. I just hope that one day you can find it in your heart to forgive me. They parted ways that day and Emily felt a sense of closure. She knew that she had grown stronger through the ordeal and she was proud of the person she had become. Asterisk, asterisk, embracing the future, asterisk, asterisk. With time, Emily moved on. She continued to excel in her career and she embraced new opportunities with confidence and enthusiasm. She travelled, explored new hobbies and surrounded herself 
with supportive and loving friends and family. One evening, as she was sitting in her living room, she reflected on her journey. She realized that the the car, which had once been a symbol of conflict, was now a symbol of her strength and independence. It represented her ability to stand up for herself and to choose self-respect over compromise. Emily knew that her future was bright. She had learned valuable lessons about love, self-worth, and resilience. And as she looked out at the black sedan in the driveway, she smiled, knowing that she was ready for whatever life had in store for her. Asterisk, asterisk, a new love. Asterisk, asterisk. Years passed, and Emily found herself thriving in her personal and professional life. She had become a respected leader in her industry, and her design firm was flourishing. She had also become involved in mentoring young designers, helping them navigate their careers and find their own voices. One day at a design conference, she met someone new. His name was Michael and he was a talented architect with a passion for sustainable design. They were introduced by a mutual friend and they immediately hit it off. Michael was kind, thoughtful and deeply respectful of Emily's independence. They bonded over their shared love for design and their desire to make a positive impact on the world. As their relationship grew, Emily found herself opening up to the possibility of love again. Michael's support and understanding were a stark contrast to the toxic dynamics she had experienced with Alex. He valued her opinions, respected her boundaries and encouraged her to pursue her dreams. One evening, as they sat on the porch of Michael's house, watching the sunset, he turned to her and said, Emily, I feel so lucky to have met you. You inspire me every day. With your strength, your creativity and your kindness. Emily smiled, feeling a warmth in her heart. Thank you, Michael. You've brought so much joy and peace into my life. They continued to build a beautiful life together filled with love, mutual respect and shared adventures. Emily knew that she had found a partner who truly understood and appreciated her for who she was.